Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to be going over some of the secrets of the end. That's right, I'm going to be going over some of the secrets of the end they might not have known about. So I'm going to be going through the top five, and hopefully you guys don't know them, but if you do, let me know down in the comment section how many of them you did know, of course. But anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you do leave a like on it. All that usual stuff does help out the channel. Let's me know you guys want to do see more of these. So anyways, let's get right into this. So. Let's go ahead, jump right into the end here, or at least don't jump into it because you'll die, fun fact, but that's not even the first one. Uh, but here it is, here we are in the end, so let's go ahead and break out of here and we'll go up this way. So as you can see, there's the usual end stuff, uh, you know, pretty typical end spawn. Uh, but fun fact about the end though, is that you can actually go underneath it and there's actually some really cool stuff going on. So let's go ahead and fly down onto here. And as you can see, the pillars actually extend all the way down to here. So you can see all of these end uh, pillars. They look pretty cool. And so this, this one is huge. Look at that, by the way, that's pretty big. Uh, so you can get tons of obsidian from this if you wanna go ahead and mine these things. Uh, there's tons of obsidian in here you can get for free just going and doing that very simple stuff there um, that's how you can get lots of obsidian you can even make a cool secret base down here I think this is kind of like a, a secret area in my opinion just kind of um, you're able to do whatever you want and you can dig down or not really dig down but you can build down very far down in here so you can go down to here which is I believe a block or so below where the uh, pillar spawn but careful of the dragon of course that just scared me a little bit is the dragon will try and attack you down here so make sure you do kill the dragon uh, before you do that because uh, apparently he tries to attack me even though I'm in creative mode don't know why but yeah so that's the dragon there uh, that's a place you can go to underneath the end I think that's a pretty cool one uh, but let's go ahead and exit the end of course and we'll move on to the second one actually I guess for the second one I can do this one in the end but also not in the end I'll explain what I mean in just a second I have to find where I just spawned from though uh, which I don't even remember where that was but that's okay we'll just go ahead and die of course and we'll uh, go right back to where we were I'm not exactly sure where it was so we'll be able to find it easily uh, just doing this so let's go ahead and do that and so we'll spawn right back over here by this so the next one here is that every single time you come into here uh, it's going to reload this little area so it's going to reload the obsidian it's going to reload the two or three air blocks that you get right here. So these four blocks always will uh, be this way every single time you enter the end. It'll uh, regenerate this. This is just so that it guarantees that the player will not fall. So if I go ahead and try and set up a cool base in here, let's say I try and do this. I got rid of the obsidian. I want to spawn in this. So uh, what's going to end up happening is that this is all going to get replaced and it's all going to be gone forever. So let's say I wanted to stash my super cool and important diamond in here uh, you're gonna see in just a second uh, it's going to be a very bad time for me but fortunately enough it is creative mode so I don't have to worry too much but just something to keep in mind so I don't know who would design a base like this but you'd be surprised at some of the things I've seen before but let's just go ahead and do this as well so we'll have like a little redstone lamp which that will actually remain there so uh, I believe it will actually so we'll have that and we'll just kind of light this place up so it looks a little cool there we go this is our cool crib we got going on here pretty neat huh so anyways let's go ahead and exit and um or not exit the end but we're exit the game but we're gonna exit the end we're just gonna go ahead and die and uh we'll leave the end and we'll come back and you guys will see is that um that entire little base we made is going to be gone so let's go ahead and do that we'll fall out of the world and we'll go back in and you what you're gonna see is it's all gone and some of the stuff fell on the floor as well. The and the entities fell on the floor, but the ceiling's still okay. But everything else is completely gone. So there were my blocks. The blocks just completely disappeared, sadly. So just be careful of what you put in here. Your valuable stuff uh, could be gone. Uh, but this is also helpful. Uh, you know, fun fact as well is if you do this. You try to trap your friends. Uh, the lava is going to do this. It's going to be stuck on the wall. But then it's going to keep falling in again. So it's like, uh oh. And then you see it right before you go in. So you can manipulate the system and you can have lava that sits in here and so you can instantly kill a player by doing this so yeah just kind of like a lot of weird things you can do and so you'll never be able to enter the end again at least without a fire resistance so I don't know I think that's kind of interesting at least I'll show that off really quickly next time I go into the end of course um, so let's move on to the next one here which is going to be about the end portal and so basically you know that you find them in a stronghold and so you find one two or maybe even three in your world and uh, they 
generally spawn in uh, with some eye vendors so if we just kind of uh, make a quick demonstration one over here let's just pretend that this is in a stronghold and we just go ahead and build this uh, what generally happens is you'll get one two maybe three of them that spawn like this when you first see it uh, you'll see some of the eye enders in there. And so the chances of them spawning inside of these are one in 10. So there's one in 10 chance of this, one in 10 chance of this, one in 10 chance of this, whether it's going to be there or not. And so uh, with that math, if you calculate uh, the 10 to the 12th power, which is for each of these to take in consideration. So the probability of getting so that every single eye of ender is spawned inside of your portal is one in one trillion. That's right, one in one trillion chance you'll get an end portal which happens to spawn with all of them like this and so I think that's kind of neat is that you have a one in trillion chance uh, of actually having an end portal that's already done for you so you don't have to even get any of the eye avengers in the first place kind of neat there of course if you ask me so kind of a cool thing there of course but let's move on to the next one here which will be is that the portals uh, cannot be broken in survival. So if I try and break this, uh, what you'll see, if I give myself a super cool diamond pickaxe like this, what you'll see is that uh, you won't be able to break it, which uh, you probably didn't know this one because you're probably too scared to try, or you've tried it because you wanted it to be super cool, and you realize, oh, I can't break it. So that's kind of a good thing, is that you can't break this, so it's not like your friend can go and break your portal and you'll never be able to go to the end. These things exist no matter what. You can't destroy them. There's nothing you can do about this. No matter how hard you try, you could have efficiency 5, you could have unbreak it, you have whatever you want on your pickaxe, but it's not going to do anything. So you can do whatever you want. You can try and blow it up with TNT. You can nuke the whole thing. It's not going to happen. It's basically like bedrock. Uh, so... Kind of something to keep in mind there. Everyone just associates bedrock with being the hardest block. But what about this one? This one never gets any love, does it? Nope. No, it doesn't. So let's move on to the last one here, which will be resetting the end. Because there's a lot of cool things you can do to take advantage of that feature. So uh, let's say your friend completely ruined the end for you for whatever reason. Like, let's say my friend did this. Oh, no. Well, there's lava in here now. I don't want to deal with this. So what you couldn't... Oh, wow. It's not flowing. That's kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> so let's say your friend ruined the end for you. You're like, wow, this end sucks. I want a new fresh one. I want to start all over a nice clean end. So what you can actually do is reset the end. And so not only does that reset the uh, the end here, so it also allows you to refight the Ender Dragon as well. Uh, oops, sorry, voice crack. It allows you to fight the Ender Dragon again, so you can actually go ahead and fight Battle the Dragon again if you want to without having to spawn it in with the crystals. So kind of get to do that for free you can also get more uh, eggs after you kill the dragon you get to get more eggs uh, you also get to go to the other end uh, which allows you to get more elytras which I believe is the only way to do that is by resetting the end since on console edition uh, you get a very limited amount of uh, end space just because the console limitations so if you want multiple elytras, you can do it by resetting the end. And so uh, you get a kind of cool thing where you can reset your end, get a bunch of elytras, get a bunch of eggs, get a bunch of dragon heads, all that sort of cool stuff. And you also won't have an end that was grieved by your friend putting lava everywhere. So I don't know. Maybe there's something to take in with that, of course. But hope you guys did enjoy it, of course. Let me know if any of these were cool to you or not. But I think it's kind of cool, of course, these uh, these secret end things uh, that you could have in your end world. I think they're pretty cool, of course. So uh, some of them you may not have known. Maybe you knew all of them. If you knew all of them, let me know down in the comments section. And let everyone else know how smart you are and how you do everything. And if there's anything you think I missed out, I could even make a part two to this video. This is kind of like a second part to the nether one I did uh, where I kind of did the nether stuff. So if you didn't see that video, I do recommend you guys do check that one out. Of course, that one's a pretty cool one. I go over some of the cool secret stuff uh, in the nether kind of neat there but i'll be sure to leave a card on the screen if you do want to see that i'll see you guys in the next video leave a like if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new to the channel turn on notifications if you want to be notified every single time uh, i do upload uh yeah i'm trying to battle the ender dragon in creative mode look at that pretty cool fun fact just before we end it here you can get dragon breath by doing that there you go dragon breath i didn't even know what dragon breath was or i kind of did Never used it before, but you can use it for lingering potions. But I don't know. You probably knew that one. That one's like base game, you know, standard thing. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.